Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and iOS 26.2 Beta 2 has been released a few days ago and it is an amazing update. Just like the first beta, this one also brings a lot of new features and changes to iOS 26, but also talking about battery and performance is way better than we actually expected. It is really good, especially when it comes to battery. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look back at this update and we have some more new features to talk about and a lot of details regarding iOS 26.2, beta 2 and future updates that I believe you must know. Now, before I get into all that, I just wanna ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them please make sure you hit the subscribe button it will really help the channel a lot now as i said ios 26.2 beta 2 brought a lot of new features and changes to ios 26 we have the all cool new animations which are the same animations that we got on wwdc 2025 of course at the preview of ios 26 we had these really cool animations that we didn't have once it got released to the public but now they're here with ios 26.2 and basically taking a look at these updates that apple is releasing we're actually getting way closer to the version of ios 26 that we saw at wwdc 2025 now of course there are other new features we also have liquid glass for notifications here when you go to clear your notifications which is really awesome there are new features for the new filter features for the games app there's an all new measure app with liquid glass and a lot of other features that make this a great update and we have some more actually to talk about so we have an update for the apple store app that actually now supports liquid glass so if we go here you can see we have a brand new icon for the apple store but also we have the liquid glass design now for the apple store app which is amazing you can see it right here everything now is as it should and of course it will fit the design of liquid glass with the new ios 26 there's also as i said a new icon for this app as well then there are other improvements like the lagging that we got on the control center when switching between different pages so if you have like two pages on the control center it has like a really nice bounce here with ios 26.2 but it basically had a lag here when switching between different pages now that has been fixed which is really awesome now another problem that i had with this update on beta 1 was that when i was trying to open apps especially the banking apps it would actually just freeze and not load the app and also on the settings when i would go to open the settings of any specific apps like right here on the app section when you go here and i would try to open any of these sections it would actually freeze now that has been fixed as well with the second beta so it's overall an amazing update now when talking about ios 26.2 and overall ios 26 in general the best thing about these updates is always the performance the numbers that we're getting here with geekbench 6 are insane and are always improving with every release like you can see right here this is the last test that i did on ios 26.2 beta 2 and you can see the score and it has of course improved when comparing to the first beta so you can see right here the single core score has improved for about 20 points there so 3003 on the single core score right here while it was at 2981 with the first beta of ios 26.2 and you can all see also see here a multi-core score improvement so 7683 with the second beta while the first beta was at 7616 again always improving and always improving in scores and also on like just every day use it is actually really really smooth and it works really flawlessly so it's an amazing update especially this beta 2 when it comes to performance is ev everything is basically okay and i wouldn't be worried even installing this on my daily device 
And now let's move on and talk about battery, which is of course a really important factor with every update. Now, this is the first time in like years I can say that I have seen like a big improvement in battery life when updating to a newer version of iOS. And I believe this will be one of the strong points of iOS 26.2 when it gets released to the public, of course, besides all the cool new features and changes. And you will see right here. So we have a battery here with the battery health at 88%. And you can see the times that we're getting here, 150. 59% battery usage, 11 hours, 4 minutes, 113 right there, 7 hours, you can see 11 hours, 45 minutes with 148, and then right here, 114, we're getting 8 hours, 56 minutes on screen. So basically, we're getting over 8 hours on screen here with about 100% battery usage, which is actually really, really good. Now, before we talk about next releases, let's quickly talk about a new release that has gone live a couple of days ago. So Apple has released new firmware designed for the Apple AirPods Pro 3 and the AirPods 4 and the prior, prior generations, the AirPods Pro 2. So if you have any of these AirPods and you will get a new, basically a new firmware for your device, the firmware will be 8B21. And of course, the prior one was 8A358. So this is like a new release that has just been released by Apple, as I said, a couple of days ago. So just make sure you have your AirPods connected to your phone, leave them connected for like half an hour, and you should get the update on your device because still we don't have like a direct way to actually update airpods we still have to basically let them connect it and just hope that they will actually update and now let's talk about next releases so apple releasing a second beta a week after the first beta of ios 26.2 lets us know that they're on a weekly schedule when it comes to releasing new firmwares for ios 26.2 i actually expected them to release the second beta two weeks after the first one that didn't happen they released it a week after the first one so i expect them to release next week another beta which will be of course beta 3 so these betas the first ones have been released on a wednesday i would expect apple actually to move more towards the beginning of the week so this week it might happen on the 17th or the 18th of november which will be of course monday or tuesday and then i would expect them to go on with releasing new betas at the beginning of the week also based on the build number of the current beta i believe that we will see a few more betas before the rc and the final release so at least four or five betas will be released so expect this upcoming week the third beta the fourth here and then on december 1st or 2nd we should either get the fifth or the rc and then of course the final release so as far as final release goes the 8th of December or the 15th of December are the dates that I think will be the ones that Apple will actually release iOS 26.2 to the public. So that's basically for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and you found it helpful. If you did, smash the like button and of course, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.